We're going to look at the cloth first because it's much easier to set up and it will ease us gently into the tutorial plus it will also give us a little bit of a head start with the hair as well but you'll see that as we progress. So how do we create a cloth basically? Well we have our mesh all we need to do to, is say to Maya right we want this to be a cloth simulation so make sure you are in your end dynamics menu here which will bring up these particles and mesh and hair and constraint all we're going to do is go to end mesh create end cloth now if you open up the options there's not many to play around with in here and what you would do is if there was some other dynamic system in this scene you would be able to say to Maya use the existing solver just so that it all works together but there's nothing currently in the scene so we're just going to go straight away and click create cloth now as you can see all it's done is it's just dropped off we've turned it's turned smooth mesh off and what we'll do is we'll leave it off for now is that that will speed up the calculation slightly what we've also done is it's we can see now that it's attached an end cloth shape here. If we open up the attributes, we have our cape here, output cloth, we have our end cloth shape. Now that's the area that we're going to be most interested in. This has all the attributes in it so that we can tweak to sort of define the properties of our cloth, how it moves, how it bends and how it, uh, how it interacts with the scene. We also have a nucleus node here and this is where all the main calculations are going to be performed uh, and we can also add in some other sort of forces and influences. So what I'm going to do first, let's just test that this cloth is working correctly. All I'm going to do is just, let's just make that a little bit bigger. Let's click play. And we can see that the cloth is moving and all that's happening at the moment is gravity because that's the only force that we've dictated is pushing down on the cloth. So let's go back to the beginning, click play and we can see that's moving. Now two things spring to mind. First of all it's stopping way too soon but all we need to do is just up the amount of time we've got to play with in here. So let's just give that a ridiculously large amount like 10,000 zoom out a little bit so we can see where it's going to fall click play and there we go we'll let it play and the simulation takes over and the cloth is falling down towards the floor again all that's influencing it at the moment is gravity let's stop that and rewind now it's moving a little bit slow so let's select the cloth open up the attributes and let's just turn off the collisions for now close that down and that should speed up the uh, simulation as you can see that's much faster and there's the cloth disappearing down there and there it goes so there we've just quickly made the cape into an end cloth shape nothing complicated it's not taken us too long um, and we've basically defined that as cloth. Now the problem is, as you saw, it's falling through her body and it's also dropping down through the floor. So we need to pin some areas. 